Hey guys, so today I am filming an extra little video for you. I am going to be doing kind of like a get ready with me full face thing, kind of like a makeup transformation as well because oh, I need it right now. I look like an absolute mess. What is going on with my hair? Watch this. This is what happens when I try and do a bun and it fails. So, oh no, I've made it worse. So yeah, I'm gonna be sorting out my hair, sorting out my face, and every single product that I'm gonna be putting on my face is eight pounds and under. So this is a really affordable makeup look. This video is kindly sponsored by Beauty Bay, which is so cool. And yeah, every single product that I'm gonna be using, you can purchase on the Beauty Bay website. So I'll have all of them linked in the description box, including Beauty Bay's new Jelly Glow Highlighters. I've got one of them here that I'm gonna be using later in the video i think you're gonna be pretty impressed so yeah i'm just gonna get on with the video and i hope you guys enjoy it so i'm gonna start off with foundation i've got the ordinary coverage foundation i love this stuff it works so well but a little bit of an issue going on here. This is the color that I would normally use when I'm not fake tanned, but today I am pretty fake tanned, so this is not gonna match me. I need to go and get a much darker shade and mix them together. I've become so lazy when I do my foundation. I literally just squirt it straight onto the sponge and then just dab it on. Does anyone else do that? So for concealer, I'm gonna use the good old Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this under my eyes and around my nose. I can't tell, ah, no, no, stay. Oh, almost ran away from me. What was I gonna say? I can't tell if my face is a little bit lighter than the rest of me. I feel like maybe it's a tiny bit too light. So we, what, what we, <laughs> All right, what I'm gonna do is add an absolute ton of bronzer later in the video, so for now, just ignore that. I am now gonna move on to highlighter, which I know you wasn't expecting, you was expecting me to do powder, but because it is a gel highlighter, it works a lot better if you put it on before you powder, I always find. So yeah, these are Beauty Bay's new Jelly Glow highlighters. I've got the one in the shade Galaxy Glow. There are quite a few different shades, but I thought this one looked like it would be my favorite. So I'm gonna be using a bit of this today as my highlighter, but you can also use it on your eyelids as an eyeshadow. So multi-purpose, which is pretty cool. This is what the packaging looks like. I love that it's got like a spacey vibe to it. They all kind of have spacey names as well, which if you guys know me, that is definitely a bit of me. I've even whacked out one of my spacey t-shirts today for the occasion. And honestly, I feel like we match so well. Honestly, I just said that. <laughs> just about to repeat myself. So like I said, this is what the box looks like. And then inside you've got the product, obviously. <laughs> That would help. Yeah, inside you don't have the product, it's just a box. I'm not funny. So this is what the actual product looks like. It just comes in this nice little pot. And then this is what the highlighter looks like. As I said, this one is in the shade Galaxy Glow and it's just like a really nice light rosy gold color. It is so pretty. You guys need to feel these though. The texture is what I love. Like it's so... I have such an urge to just shove my finger in there. Like, honestly, that's all I wanna do because it's so squishy and bouncy. I'm not gonna do that because it'll ruin it. You honestly need the tiniest little bit. Like, a little bit goes a long way. So I've just got a tiny bit on my finger and I'm just gonna pop it on my little highlighty bits. You know the places. <laughs> These are only £6.50 each, so if you wanna go and try them out for yourself, I will have them linked in the description box along with everything else in this video. But yeah, go and have a look at the other shades. Go and try them for yourself. I think they are so cool. So now I need to powder my face. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder, and I'm not gonna put it all over my face because we're going for quite a glowy look. I don't wanna look too matte. So I'm just gonna kind of put it in the places that I need it, but I'm not gonna go too much with the powder. I'm now gonna move on to a bit of contour. I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and with this shade here, obviously, I'm gonna take this shade. Using this shade here, I'm just gonna contour and bronze up my face a little bit.
I am now going to add a bit of blush. I've got the BH Cosmetics Floral Blush. This one is in the shade Fiji Fun and it looks like this. It's just a really nice pinky colour. Well, it's like two different pinky colours and then it's got these like gold flecks in it as well, which you guys know I love a bit of that. So I'm just going to pop a bit of this on my cheeks. Is it actually possible for me to do a makeup video and not put too much blush on? Like, honestly. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with how my base makeup's turned out. I feel like it looks really nice. It's nice and glowy and healthy and just like, mm, you know. I'm now gonna move on to my eyes and I'm gonna do a bit of eyeshadow. I'm actually gonna be using the product that I've been holding for like most of this video because I've been using it as a mirror. This is Beauty Bay's EYN Nude Palette in the shade Nude, yeah, I've already said that. <laughs> I tried. Beauty Bay's EYN 9 color palette in the shade Nude. That is what I meant. It looks a little bit like this. You've got a selection of matte shades, shimmer shades, and what shall I do? I haven't actually thought about this. What am I actually gonna do? I think I'm gonna start off with a bit of cinnamon and I'm just gonna run that through my crease just to start us off. I'm now just gonna take a little bit of Take a Hike and I'm just gonna run that through as well. I forgot to say, I also took a bit of Domino Effect, which is this like matte black color, and I popped a little bit of that in the corners as well, which you're probably thinking, Sophie, why did you do that? You know what happens when you use a black eyeshadow normally, but what do you think? I feel like compared to normal, that's not too bad. It's because I just put like the tiniest little bit in the corners and I actually think it looks quite nice. So that is that. I now need to use a shimmer shade. So we've got a few different shimmers. There's like a champagne-y colour, a pinky colour, a bronzy colour and a blue. I think I'm going to go for the champagne-y colour up here, which is in the shade Cheers. And I'm just going to pop that all over my lid. Oh my goodness. I'm now gonna move on to mascara and I've got the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. I think this wand is potentially made for me. Look at that. Look at that wand. It is like the skinniest little wand I've ever seen and you guys know I love a small mascara wand. So this is just perfect and I can actually like get in there without making an, 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 blah, 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 without making an absolute mess. So I'm pretty happy with this new discovery. I'm now going to do my lipstick and I've got this Jordana, 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 sweet dr cr cr <laughs> Sweet Cream, I see what they've done there. They almost got me because I pretty much just said Sweet Dream. Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color. This one's in the shade Cinnamon Toast. This stuff smells, oh, it smells so good. It smells like a sweet shop, honestly. I love the smell so much, but yeah, I'm gonna pop this on my lips and then my makeup will be done. As you can see, it's just a really dark brownie nude color and it dries matte, like it's already dried completely matte. So yeah, that is the lipstick done and that means my entire makeup look is now done. I'm now looking a little bit better than I did earlier and I now need to go and do my hair. I think I might curl it, so wish me luck. Okay, I'm back. I've tried curling my hair. Not sure it really looks that great, but I've tried my best. I mean, I suck at curling hair, don't I? Why do I keep trying to do it? I really suck at it. <laughs> But yeah, this is the finished look. This is the transformation complete. I'm feeling a lot better than I was at the start. So I feel like it was a success and I'm so happy with how my makeup turned out and everything on my face was eight pounds or less. You can buy all of it from Beauty Bay, like I said. Everything's linked below. Don't forget to check out the jelly highlighters so you can have a nice glowy face like me. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thank you again to Beauty Bay for sponsoring it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you very very soon. Goodbye!